a Spanish language billboard in Miami, Florida, featuring Donald Trump and former Cuban leader Fidel Castro has generated significant debate in the lead up to the 2024 U.S. presidential election. The ad, which translates in English to No to Dictators, No to Trump, was installed by Mad Dog Pack and is part of a campaign targeting battleground states to raise concerns about a potential dictatorship. I thought what better place to try to provoke a little conversation than Miami. Claude Taylor, the chair of Mad Dog Pack, says the aim of the billboard is to alert the Cuban-American community to the risks of authoritarianism, drawing comparisons to 1959 Cuba. I firmly believe that Donald Trump uh, wants to be a dictator. And so if I'm speaking to a uh, Cuban-American audience, it seems pretty obvious to me to make the comparison. I think it's an apt comparison. I'm opposed to dictatorships. I, I, I don't like them. I like democracy. And one of the tenets of democracy is free expression. Local Trump supporters have criticized the billboard and rejected the comparison. You know, whatever you do to Trump backfires. Now he's getting free publicity. And it's going to the Cuban community. Oh, no. That's a, that's a good one. Oh, no. That, that. You can't compare Fidel Castro to Trump because it's not the same thing. Trump is not a communist. Well, I voted for Trump. I'm going to vote for him again. The billboard highlights the intense discussion expected in the upcoming CNN debate in Atlanta, as Trump and current President Joe Biden are neck and neck in national opinion polls, with a considerable slice of the electorate still undecided five months before the November 5th vote. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections, to climate change, to innovations, and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.